morning everyone what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is brianna and i'm Corey. and today we are in vernazza for the day so if you saw my previous vlog we actually traveled up to the cinque terre and today we are just spending the whole day in vernazza we're gonna come back like go back shower and then come back for dinner as well but we're ready to hit the beach today we're gonna do some shopping we're gonna get some pesto because i'm gonna take you to one of my favorite yes, please. pasta takeaway places yes, please. and we're gonna swim because yesterday was so hot that we almost regretted not getting in the water so if you can see behind us this is going to be our beach of the day Corey's like we're in the shade so that we can try to vlog and do it at the same time but with that being said if you're new I hope that you will give the video a big thumbs up please hit the subscribe button down below and turn on your post notification bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming Italy vlogs but with that being said we're ready to use our we got sunscreen this morning you can share which ones I don't even know we ended up picking up the one for kids and she was like oh no that's for kids you can still use it but it's meant for kids so Corey got the oh I think this is the one of the Avino brands sure maybe 50 SPF for Corey, and then I got a 30 because the sun is hot where I can actually use like regular tanning stuff. I get nervous here because it's just so hot, but we're gonna go relax, get ourselves situated on the beach. We're gonna be spending the whole day here today, mm -hmm. and I'm excited. I'm ready Very to get excited. in the water. Let's get in the water. Because I'm hot, so let's go. water is perfect like it could be not be any more cool yet warm but not like ice cold but not hot water you know what I mean it's just like the perfect temperature water and it's kind of a cloudy day today which is actually really nice because we have been just so hot with the Sun the past few days I'm trying to see let me check my phone I can check what the temperature is supposed to be just for the day so it says right now it's 83 but it doesn't really feel that way it's supposed to get upwards of 87 today so it is gonna be pretty warm but with that being said, like I said, there's clouds. So, I mean, it's just been such a perfect little beach day. It is, I didn't even say what time it was, by the way. It is 11.02, so we'll probably do lunch in the next hour or so. I'm probably gonna read my book, relax. I was gonna say, this just feels like such, also you can see Corey's little head, beep. It just feels like such a beautiful vacation. Corey and I were talking about this this morning. Because we go to, you know, Disney a lot, or we're traveling domestically a lot, or I travel internationally a lot. When you're actually traveling, traveling, it's like, not as much of a vacation and the reason why is just because you're constantly moving you're changing you're moving your luggage around and all that but because we're stationary for the next like three to four ish nights i feel like it's just going to feel even more like a vacation but just wanted to do a quick check-in we're gonna do some shopping later on tonight so i'll make sure to show you a little bit more of vernata as well but the day has been so nice so far i'm ready to get some color on the skin and uh it's been a beautiful day and peep cory laying down okay we have left the beach left the beach only because they're having some like athletic aquatic beach games beach happening games today, or something apparently. today yeah so, so they were like we need this half of the beach so we need this half of the beach and we so like, the other half is now pumped loaded people. with people so, so we decided to sit like under, under one of the, the big cliffs. rocks like the beach is mm -hmm. right there so we're under the cliffs but the view makes it worth it how could you not just sit here all day and just look at all this beauty i feel like every time i look from my left to my right i'm in a movie scene I mean it's just so beautiful it just gets prettier and prettier so we're gonna sit here for a little bit and then we're gonna be headed to lunch but just wanted to share we've got our what is it toes in the water splishy splashing very close very close all right so we have made it to lunch we came to Pipo Avernazza this is the place that I came to in my other vlog as well because I wanted to take Corey but they make fresh pesto this whole thing is nine euro it's on fire it's so hot and so fresh Corey got the same and this is gonna be Corey's first Italian pesto experience are you ready I am ready but first yeah I need to just... first the phone always the phone eats first right yep I have been living up this place so Corey go ahead full effect and is it good 
But I agree with you. You pop it with just about one tang. Yeah. So it's like a nice texture to it. Yeah, it's good. So good. We are leaving Bernat's, at least for the morning for portion. Oh, yeah. It is like 2.10, 2.15. So we spent like four, four and a half hours here this morning. So nice, but we are hot. We got a lot of like color on our skin because it was a very hot beach day. But we're now headed back. We did some shopping. I'll do like a haul once we actually get back to the Airbnb. But tonight we're actually eating at one of the restaurants here, like embedded yeah. in the cliff. Like it's gonna be cool to see. On the top of it. So that will be good. Lunch was delicious. We ended up after lunch just going back, swimming for a few hours, and doing some shopping. But we're tired. We're ready for a cold shower because man is it hot. But Bernat's is beautiful, but like I said to you, because the cruise ships come in. It got crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Like to the point where we got here at like 10 15 and there and wasn't like, that many. Come like 11 30. It was, it was just like swarming. swarming, like so many people, and yeah. now it's even more busy than it was. So we're going back, we're gonna rest and recharge, and we'll check in with you when we come back to Vernazza. Ladies and gentlemen, we get to Vernazza, we are shopping. We are dressed, we've got the bags. If you notice the camera quality is different and the sound is different, it's because I just went to turn on my camera to vlog and I realized that I literally left my memory card in my computer, in the stick. I don't even know why I forgot it. Well, I mean, I was editing and I was pulling off the footage and I just completely, completely forgot to take that. And now it's hard because I need to look right there, but I like to look at me, so now I need to look there's a bird. Oh, scary. Honestly, it landed two feet. No, it was really so scared. scared. I, I am not I making scared. fun of you. I'm just explaining. I'm just wa looking at it. All right, well, show up our bags. We've got a good amount of stuff. We got some wooden spoons. We got a wooden spoon for ourselves, wooden spoon for my mom. We got, what else did we get? Oh, a magnets. few magnets. That's one thing that Corey and I collect when we travel. We collect all like the fun, chachi kind of magnets. We have artwork. Yes, we did. We ended up having an artist screen prints his artwork and so he signed the bottom of one of his pieces so we brought that I like to buy art too I have a few oil paintings at home so I was excited about that but yeah so we forgot the camera or the memory card so you're just gonna have to deal with the rest of the night with the phone but we're still gonna be vlogging so we're gonna go into the main city but we've already we've just been walking up and down the street vlogging or not vlogging but spending all of our money and now oh, yeah. I have to look over here instead of over here I'll try my best See, to get this is the it. park. I'm wearing sunglasses. Yeah. You don't know where I'm looking. But we are going to do an outfit of the night, so Corey's going to go first. All right, Corey, give us an outfit of the night. All righty. It is Old Navy button down. Old, Old Navy, Navy button down. down. Can you believe it? Yeah, double also, night. Back -back of J. Crew the J. Crew drawstring, drawstring shorts. Back -back nights of the Sperry's and Corey has his yeah, the, the glasses. glasses. Back to back people. Yeah, hopefully you can hear Corey because of the phone. I mean, I assume that you can, but you never know. Anyway, my outfit now. Amazon earrings, same again, repeat as yesterday. Bracelets, my dress, H&M. I'm gonna give us a full spin. H&M dress, and then my Target sandals. They're the ones with the memory foam again which I love. So we're going to walk around. We're going to leisurely stroll. Sorry again about the forgetting of the memory card. I don't know. It's just literally the worst. Totally slipped my mind, but we're going to enjoy our evening. We've gotten a lot of good purchases. I'm actually going to vlog one of the other stores because the stuff here is just so cute, but I just didn't before. Yeah. So let's go and we're going to do some more shop. How do you not just want to leave here with everything? I mean, like, just look at all this cute 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 stuff Corey also loves those boats up there i love them too but i don't really know where we would put them and then we also wanted to get one of these but i just don't think that that's going to be like too easy to transport but i mean how do you not just want to take everything home also can we take a minute the salt and pepper shaker like come on so i also wanted to share something because i actually don't know how many of you know this but vernazza where all of cinque terre was kind of the inspiration for luca Vernazza was actually the one with the most inspiration for Luca. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn the camera around to kind of give you like a pano and a little bit of the lay of the land. But this one is the main inspiration. And then right over my shoulder here, if you can see that little blue sign above my finger, that is Ristorante Luca. I don't know if that's how they came up with the movie name, but that's the name of it. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you just all of the main Area. So here is the main square in Vernazza, which was the main inspiration for the main square in Luca. I'm almost positive that this was the island, or like not island, but village with it. And then the other reason is, and then like I said, the other reason is because this is the main section where all the water is, and in Luca it's the exact same. It's like main town on one side and then the water on the other. Also again, I'm not gonna say it more than one time, but like I'm really sorry I forgot my memory card. 
we're gonna just be doing but it's so beautiful so stunning and yeah this was the inspiration for the disney movie luca all right so we are at dinner and we are at a restaurant called restaurante belforte and i made this reservation like over a month ago and i had requested the lover's table and they were like oh the lover's table like isn't available and i was like no worries no problem this restaurant is by reservation only it's literally in a cliff and we were waiting in line waiting in line and all of a sudden we got placed at the lover's table. So I'm gonna show it to you, it is so beautiful. I am living my Italian summer dreams. So here's Mr. Corey. We got the lover's table right here and we are the only two up on this little section. Can you even get over this? So we are literally eating inside of this beautiful cliff. I'll even get my I mean, it does not get any better than this. All right, so like I just showed, we just got wine and it came in our little pitcher. And it's apparently native to Cinque Terre. They actually have a lot of their own wines here. Also, the idea of like being right on the edge of this cliff, where it is absolutely stunning, it is also a little scary. So we're just gonna move the bucket. And Corey, cheers to a beautiful Italian vacation. All right, so we just got our appetizers. We went the caprese salad, which is over there. And then we did the fried calamari. Oh my God, it looks delicious. We just filled our wine glasses. And let me tell you, you guys, I cannot get over the fact that I'm looking at my fiance in the northern coast of Italy and that we are at the lover's table. And again, just view after view. But we're going to enjoy our appetizers and then we'll share with you when dinner gets here. Dinner is served. Corey, so what'd you get? What do you I remember? I had the lobster with langoustine pasta. Which looks amazing. And then I had the pasta bolognese, which is also going to be delicious. So we're going to dig in. And we're just enjoying our dinner. We've been here for like two hours and it's been so nice to just, so relax, nice, just relax, take in the view and just enjoy everything. Another day, another forget to outro. Rihanna yes. fell asleep. I did. I just like literally KO'd the minute mm. that we got home last night. We had such a beautiful, beautiful dinner. It was amazing. I would say that I liked that restaurant. I liked the vibe of that restaurant more than the vibe of the first restaurant yeah. that we went to. Mm -hmm. However, I loved my muscle pasta more, but this was like the best pasta But ever tell them still. about the bolognese though. Yes, so I ended up asking our server if the bolt, like what he would recommend, the bolognese or the lobster pasta, and he had said the bolognese, and I was like, Wow, okay, that was like a big price difference, and I think in America you sometimes assume that your servers and I don't, for anyone that's a server, like I'm not, this is not me targeting you, but like you see your servers and sometimes it's been very frequented in the United States that they will tell you, oh, Just the more expensive price option price. is better. And he said the bolognese, which was literally 20 euro right. cheaper. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try it. I tried it. I almost was near tears because it tasted almost identical to my mom's homemade sauce that she makes at home. It was absolutely, then she, I didn't believe her. And then I was like, it. no way. I was like, no, yes way. And then I started just literally crying. I was like, this is literally your mom in a bowl. Yeah. And it was just really cool to see, for those of you that don't know, I'm hundred percent Italian. So it's really cool. No, you're, not, you're 50% Italian. I'm 50% Sicilian, Sicilian, if you ask my you're dad, welcome, Joe. but for someone that is Italian, you come to Italy and you don't know if the food that you, where you do think that the food you've been eating is the authentic and is the real deal, you just never know, right? And so when I tried it, it was just such a nice little like touch of home, right? I've been gone for a few weeks, so it was just really, really, really amazing. And like I said in the vlog, not that was like today's, but yesterday's travel vlog, we always like to um, glamorize European travel and it is important to share the hard parts and this will be the hardest thing and it was a mishap that I had yesterday and I lost me and Corey's credit cards and our licenses yesterday while we were shopping. We went to sit at dinner, we were about to pay, perfect dinner, perfect day, and I go to open my coin purse that I had decided yesterday for no reason that I was gonna take out both of our credit cards and both of our IDs 
Why I didn't just take all the wallets with me was just a foolish thing to start with, but I was like, I'm taking my nicer bag. It is what it is, I won't do that. And I go to open the wallet and they're gone. And I'm freaking out, like, I'm like, oh my God, how are we gonna pay for dinner? Like, we, oh, we don't have enough in euros to pay. I was literally having a breakdown. Thank God for Corey and my saving grace. As always, he always has, and I know that I always joke, but Corey has these, like, th I, I really do believe this about you. Corey has these random things that he like remembers or does like these this like random section of his brain is dedicated to like random facts or like random knowledge that doesn't always come in handy and last night he was like I don't have any like Apple Pay I don't have any cards and he was like wait I know my debit card number by heart I was like are you kidding me and they could take Apple Pay so he literally put the card onto Apple Pay and paid for our dinner my saving grace, I don't, I don't, we would have been like washing dishes, we would have been jumping off the tower, like it would have just been a hot mess. But this is a part of European travel. Lost our debit card, or not our debit cards, our credit cards, and had already had them canceled. We already submitted to get new driver's licenses, and that's just a part of travel. And where I'm disappointed in myself, because I'm always the one that like has it together. Like Corey has told me over the last few days, it was just a mishap. It's not life or death. It would have been life or death if it was something bigger, but it wasn't. We both have regular cards and we have, we can take up some euros. So I feel better, but yep. Go. I lost both of our cards yesterday because that being said, at the end of the day, it was a lovely evening. Yes. And the moral of the story is with that hiccup was never consolidate. No. And don't freak out over things that are fixable. Yes, don't freak out over things that are fixable. Well, we are off. We're going to start our next vlog. We are headed to... In three, two, well, one. <laughs> we are headed to Monterola today to do a pesto making class. We're very excited. So, with that being said, subscribe down below. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Thumbs sorry for the fancy outro. Thumbs overhead. up. Thumbs up. We're sorry for this like crazy outro, but we love you guys, and we'll see you at the pesto class.